Uh, time for the 9 at 9. Here's number 9. Yeah, it always, uh, it's always great when you're checking out uh, the product online and there's a reviewer who does a little more than just tell you what he thinks about the product. Such is the case with these athletic shorts uh, for sale on Amazon. I am six foot tall and have a 40 inch waist with big strong legs. These fit around my thighs perfectly. If you have little baby chicken legs, then you will not like uh, the fit of these. The pockets will fit my hands into them easily. So whoever complained about the pockets was probably looking for cargo shorts or maybe was a guy with too many gadgets and a bit girly. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, these are more for just walking around and enjoying your day after a good workout and pump. Uh, great shorts with tank tops and sunglasses and a good muscle pump. Oh. Uh, if you have a strong thighs, uh, these are good to attract the females. Uh, if you have skinny chicken legs, you may swim in the leg holes uh, with your baby legs. Wow. So that's a good review, right? It's a little yeah. nasty, tells a though. story. There's a little shaming in it, which yeah. sometimes can be fun, uh, as long as you don't know the person. So I guess. It's good. Yeah. All right, number eight, welcome to the egg. It is a Belgian concept home designed to fit each individual. It's known more affectionately as the blob. You can use it as an office or as a man cave. It has lighting, a bed, a bathroom, a kitchen, all that in there. Yeah. And it's movable. 215 square feet. Wow. How's that all fitting in there? Wow. And I don't know how much it is, where you can get yeah, it. We don't have that information, but details. just Google Belgian egg or something. I'm sure you'll yeah. find yeah. it. That's fun. Number seven, here's a great sports name, Bumper Pool. He's a linebacker for Ooh. the University of Arkansas, <laughs> and he's pretty good. Bumper is uh, his legal first name. He was born James Morris Pool, but his father immediately started calling him Bumper. And he's never been called anything but Bumper, to the point that in preschool he could spell Bumper, but not James. <laughs> Once he turned 16, he decided to make the name official his legal name, Bumper James Morris Poole. Wow. Our parents didn't love us as much, not giving us uh, catchy yeah, names, yeah, right? You're right about that. All right, number six, if you're looking to change things up this fall, try putting some chocolate sunflowers in your garden. Oh, yeah. They are such a nice fall color. They'll even add a bit of warmth to the outdoor landscape. If you're looking to plant them, you want to do it in the spring. Oh, uh, all right. So, so a too little late. too late now, but just go appreciate people who've done it. They can grow to be at least four to five feet tall. Wow, huh. isn't that fun? So look at that. Magic. Hmm. All right, number five. Yesterday, Robin was talking about guest overalls and how they weren't for her. So we looked him up, uh, check out the options that she had to choose from, from light denim to true blue, and of course, everyone's favorite, stone washed. Yeah. They had the big That's guest the patch on um, the front. The pleats with the yeah. pleats. Robin's not wrong. They were baggy. Yeah, look like, at that. Uh, denim sacks <laughs> of potatoes. You? Yeah. You look like a pear with yeah. legs. Wow. Kind of schlumpy. Yeah, it was not a good look, even for the tiniest of gals. Yeah. But fashion sometimes is undeniable. Look at that. Yeah. Pleated jeans. Never. Did you ever have the pleated jeans, Larry? That was Probably, kind of... yeah, but not the overall. Yeah, yeah, you were living. All right, number four, as if you need an excuse to eat dessert, now you have one. Some nutritionists say choosing dessert first leads to healthier meal choices. If they know they'll be eating, say, a decadent slice of chocolate cake, they might choose a lighter main course like salmon or grilled chicken. That also means fewer overall calories. So maybe look at the dessert list before you look at the entrees. Mm. Do you always, uh, I know you like the sweets. Are you a dessert? Do you order the dessert when you go out? Not unless there's an apple pie on there, then there's no mm -hmm. need. It's my go-to. Seasonal dessert person. Yeah. yeah, so you will order an apple dessert if it's on the Yeah, but it's hardly ever. Nobody ever makes yeah. an apple. It's uh, too simple. All the dessert, all the yeah. restaurants are they trying really to do these fancy, fancy schmancy yeah. things. And yeah. You give me a good old apple, apple pie, yes. right? Yeah, keep it simple. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm American. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And you're a complex man with yeah. deep feelings that are, aren't understood by most people. <laughs> All right, number three, uh, beautiful but deadly. We're talking about milkweed butterflies. Some of the butterfly scientists re recently witnessed several milkweeds attacking their own caterpillars. Oh. They tricked them, trapped them, and then ate them. This is a recent thing and hasn't been seen before, so researchers are looking into why this is happening. 
Well, so then that must be a race to turn into a butterfly, because if you're not winning that race, you're right. going to end up being you're food. You're done. Yeah. This is another thing where animals are turning on each other. We've yeah. seen this the last three days. We saw yesterday we had a story about the two snakes that were yeah. going at it. Earlier this morning we had two bobcats yeah. going around. Now look at this. Boy, wow. they, a lot of they, contentiousness. If they can't get along with themselves, how do they expect to get along Ooh, with other that's, animal species? That's exactly the point there. Right. And it matches our society. We're having such a hard yes. time getting along. Yep. This is an epidemic. Mm. Wow. Really making me think this morning, yeah. guys. Yeah. yeah. All right, enough of that. All right, number two. Seems that every week there's a story about a miracle cure for a hangover, but one hero scientist and his team are working on a hangover-free booze. It's a compound that would mimic the awesome effects of alcohol, like drunkenness, without the terrible effects, like a headache and nausea. They call it Alcarel. What it does, it goes to the same parts of your brain that are affected by alcohol, All right. makes you feel drunk, but they do it without ethanol. It also has no taste, so you can mix it with whatever you like. All right. The goal is to eliminate the public health risks to the heart and liver. He thinks it could be on the market by 2025. 2025? But see, isn't, I mean, I just enjoy a glass of wine, though. I'm not... You know, right. having it to, to get drunk, but I guess maybe just some people are doing it just to, Yeah. I don't know. I well, mean, I, I like the taste of a glass of wine, sure. right? Yeah. You like the near beer, I know. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I like the way it makes me feel. <laughs> yeah. That's fascinating. All the calories come, without yeah. any of the effects. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey. All right, number one, one of the most famous rock DJs for the BBC in England was a guy named John Peel. He played records for more than 30 years and helped popularize Led Zeppelin, The Smiths, and Nirvana. Before he died in 2004, he recorded a special called TV Hell, where he listed some of the worst pop music acts he's ever seen. This was one of them. The artist is Jonathan King, and his song went to number four in the charts. It's called Everyone's Gone to the Moon. Streets full of people Alone. Roads full of houses, never home. Church full of singing, out of tune. Everyone's gone to the moon. Oh, that is terrible. I like it. Really? He's got a very soothing tone to his yeah, voice. Yeah, he's got a little worked up also, Robin. He's telling a story. Yeah, he's he reeling me in. Hands full of money. Well, he's money. no Gordon Lightfoot. That's well, all I know. Well, look how understated he is. He kind of sounds like that Herman and the Hermits yeah. a little bit, right? There were a million groups then that sounded just like this guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. he stayed, started by his producing. But Pretty what a stage songs. presence. Yeah, sitting yeah. on a stool. You don't get enough <laughs> of the big rocks and roll stars. You prefer stars. you don't move. <laughs> sitting on a stool. This is pretty much the worst video ever made. <laughs> Just sit there with your turtleneck and your mm -hmm. cardigan. It's like and your... telling the story. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm sitting in like a like a mm -hmm. library and someone's reading to me. Oh, this is fun. All the way up to number four, you said? Four or five? Yeah, well... On the British charts, yeah, well, what the do they British, know? Yeah, well, they what do they know? They got one of those those Beatles yeah, over there right. and all that crap. Yeah, they are trying so <laughs> hard. Rated. Yeah. You are so Beatles. Yeah. Give me a break. <laughs> Listen, the Americans only needed one guy, right. Elvis, right? right? They got four. five of those jokers, and still they can't write a good song. <laughs> <sighs> That's a nightmare. <laughs> All right, here's what's happening. 